Hello and welcome into Keyword Stadium for tonight's Midwest Premier League matchup between Lansing and Coming FC and your Detroit City Football Club. I am Jared Mackey. Thank you for joining us here on YouTube. Today's encounter, massive one in terms of the landscape of the Eastern Division of the Midwest Premier League. Essentially a cup final. Lansing Common needs a win today to stay alive with their hopes for the title. In Detroit City FC, their job is pretty simple. Try to get any drop points on Lansing here would be detrimental to their attempt here to win the Eastern Division. Detroit City FC, they have one match remaining after this one. They travel out to Grand Rapids next Wednesday to face off against BIH Grand Rapids, the team they defeated here one to nothing last time we were on the broadcast. Lansing's going to look to do what they did on Independence Day, give Detroit City FC another loss. That one on July 4th was Detroit City FC's first. It wasn't just a loss either. Lansing Common rather handedly defeated them 3-0. We're going to take a look here at the Detroit City FC starting lineup. Pretty usual 4-2-3-1 here for Coach Javi Bautista and his side. Back line, bog standard for what we've seen so far this season. It did feel a little bit different. Something to note. No Shion Soga in this starting 11. He was rostered against FC Buffalo for the Detroit City FC men's first team, but didn't play, was never really going to play at a muscle strain, and we'll see if he features today. But no worry for Javi Bautista, but see Mutana scored four goals against Lake St. Clair FC on Wednesday, and there's 7-2 route of them over in Mount Clemens. So not too much to worry about. Zion beaten up top. Pretty strong 11 here for Detroit City FC. Both teams now as we see the Huddles taking place. Sean Ellis and Ned as well. We see the huddles taking place. Captain James Lee with the armband instructing his side what they must do. James Lee was part of that team that lost 3 to nothing in Lansing within an earshot of the Capitol building on Independence Day, July 4th. I mentioned Shion Silga being on the bench for the Detroit City FC men's first team match. A few players in this starting 11 were a part of that team. Josh Waits got about 80, better side of 85 minutes in that one due to an early injury to Anthony Manning. He looked really composed and solid at the back against FC Buffalo. And number 13 right there, Keith Larson, been the danger man for the Detroit City FC on 23 side. Got about 20, 25 minutes in that one. And now see a throw in on the far side for Lansing Common. Lansing Common coached by Josh Oakley. They've had a really good season. Zion beaten here. Early pressure on the Lansing Common back line. Something we didn't really see on July 4th when they played in Lansing, these two sides. Similar weather. Pretty hot and humid that day. The turf was absolutely unbearable. Lansing Common seemed to do well. Detroit City FC starting goalkeeper in this one. Sean Ellis saved a penalty against Lansing Common in that one. It was Shaddy Omar who, from Holt, Michigan, who... Had that penalty saved. And things were looking good at that point for Detroit City FC before two quick goals to round out that first half. We see Mutana here, turnover. Has Zion beaten in front of him. Tries to get this beaten. Still Mutana, though, and collected calmly there by Zach Kelly. This Lansing Common team made up of players from the Lansing area, greater Lansing area. A few players from DeWitt, East Lansing. Okemos, Holt. So... Bunch of local guys. As we see Brady Walker trying to corral that one in. Josh Waits, who I mentioned has some first team experience this week with the Detroit City FC men's first team in the Nisa Independent Cup. So that one goes up and Brady Walker will watch it go out of play for a Lansing throw in deep in Detroit City's half. Going to be run over and taken by Kyle Scott. Thrown in now. Omar with his back to goal. Edge of the area though. Mutana pressing from that number 10 position. Decent ball into the box. Nearly caused Lachlan Hepburn some trouble. Lutrum. Shifkui unable to really get anything going there. Throw in on the far side now for Detroit City FC. Good crowd on hand today in this one. Edge of the area now. Lansing Common. They really found success against Detroit City FC. These short passes opened up those channels. In behind the back line, I said here, turnover now. Keith Larson running with his head up. That's always dangerous sight for defenders. Does well to beat two players. Keith Larson running through on goal. It was a second before Zach Kelly hesitated and eventually got out to claim that one. But that little 
burst is just a microcosm of what Keith Larson can do leading that front line. A miscommunication at the back for Detroit City FC causes Sean Ellis to run out and just kind of blast that one forward. Ryan Dobson now applying pressure to Shifuki. Shifkui, excuse me. Omar. Shady Omar doing a really good job. Shady Omar, one of the most impressive players in the Midwest Premier League this season. Leading the line for Lansing Common. He and Ty Uziak look to cause problems to that Detroit City FC back line today. I mentioned that game in Lansing. Detroit City FC looked a lot more dangerous when they got their second half substitutions in. Namely the likes of Keith Larson and Wasim Mutana who are in the starting 11 today. But I, I do fear that they're going to lack some creativity in that midfield with Shion Soga absent. Lansing Common now in the box. Far side trying to find a way in. Good heads up play there by Lachlan Hepburn to get that one away. You're going to say there was a foul on that far side and it'll be a free kick to Detroit City FC and looks like Kellen Landefeld's down in some pain. Kellen Landefeld, a Michigan State Spartan, so pretty familiar with the Lansing, Greater Lansing area. Get a look at it here. Keith Larson beat two defenders and then Little hesitation there from Zach Kelly, but too much speed on the ball for anyone, Mutana or Larson, to really catch up to it there. Sean Ellis is going to walk over to an adjacent angle and take this uh, excuse me, free kick. Keith Larson looking to rise on that one. Doesn't really get the header on it. Mutana running onto it now, but one back by Sam Harshi in the midfield. Lays it off for Larson, who's looking with his head up, and now Brady Walker. Finds Zion Beaton with his back to goal. Really good turn there by Beaton and a really good ball through to Mutana. Just too much speed on that one. The angle of it was good. It was going away from the Lansing Common center back, but into the hands of Zach Kelly calmly, and he rolls it out to his left back to get Lansing Common up and going again. Zion Beaton, good pressure there. Keith Larson playing from the right. That's... Good call by Coach Javi to have Larson and Zion Beaton on the field at the same time. Early part of the season, we saw them, you know, either coming in for one another or one would start, one would be on the bench. But today, we see them both leading the line for Detroit City FC. Harshi wins the ball in the midfield. Composure there from James Lee to find Josh Waits. Speaking of composure, Josh Waits looked really composed in that center back position against FC Buffalo in the Independent Cup. Harshi there pushed over, no foul given as James Lee goes to the ground now. Referee having none of it now. Lansing Common trying to find the ball through the middle here. Gets to the feet of Esteban Russell. Goes back out to the right back and then back into the midfield. Good pressure there from Harshi. Playing across the back line now, Lansing Common. Not afraid to do that. Takes a very technical set of center backs to be able to do that. The jeopardy of it, of course, one turnover and the team is through on goal. Speaking of through on goal here, Lansing Common could be in behind, but really good job there by Brady Walker to see it out for Detroit City FC goal kick. Some traveling Lansing fans. See a replay of this here. Ball over the top really was just always going away from him. It was really going to be a Herculean type effort to keep that one in by Ty Uziak, but last goes off. Lansing Common midfielder for a Sean Ellis goal kick. Clever flick there by Zion Beaton, just no one really to go to there. Referee not really calling many fouls today. Mutana nearly got on the end of that one. Seeing good pressure here from Detroit City FC. Kellen Landefeld forcing Zach Kelly into an errant kick from his, between his posts. It wasn't just Kellen Landefeld, it was also C. Mutana who was up with him. As I mentioned before, four goals on Wednesday in Detroit City FC 7-2 thrashing of Lake St. Clair Football Club. Brady Walker on this near side. Left footed ball in, blocked away, and Lansing Common now have the ball back. Brady Walker, of course, Wins the ball now. Left footed ball into the box by Brady Walker. Zion Beaton was free. They're going to say there was a free kick. Free kick against Lansing Common. 
There was a foul on the edge of the area. Right as Brady Walker was trying to get the ball into the box. Referee standing over it. Lansing Common looking to build a two-man wall by the looks of it. Getting instructions from Zach Kelly. As Kyle Scott will see the foul here. Walker wins the ball back, and then, yeah, Kyle Scott went to ground. Referee didn't like what he saw on that one. Surprised that one was called and not a few other ones for both sides earlier in this one. Sam Harshi standing over this one. Not sure if he can curl this one to the top corner. He's going to fancy himself, of course. Sam Harshi, right-footed effort into the box, headed on just wide of the target there by James Lee. Gets a round of applause from the fans in attendance. The Lansing Common head coach Josh Oakley on this touchline, not too pleased. What if he saw in that corner? We'll see. Another look at it here. Lansing Common dodged a bullet there. James Lee had a free header in the box and weathered that storm. See it here. Harshi played it in. It was Zion Beaton, excuse me. Just had that free header. Shady Omar knew nothing about it. We'll see a trip up here. Zion Beaton gets right back up. No complaints from him to the referee. Just a coming together of the feet. Mutana pressing now. We'll see. We've seen Detroit City FC do that all year. Press goalkeepers into errant goal kicks, and a lot of success has come from it. We're seeing early signs of that starting to seep through here against Lansing. Zion Beaton does well to get the ball past. We're going to be a throw in against Detroit City FC. Lansing Common run over to take it. I mentioned Detroit City FC been finding success in the way they've been doing things all year. But Lansing Common's kind of broken the mold when it comes to playing against Detroit City FC. That 3 0 win, the scoreline, every, every bit of it was deserved, I believe. Keith Larson now tried to play the quick ball into Mutana. Walker into Harshi. Harshi to Larson. Keith Larson now creating space. Thought he was going to take the shot there. Landefeld recycles it out to Lachlan Hepburn in that advanced fullback position. Ball across. Larson was hoping for a loose header there. Turnover now. Ryan Dobson does well to get the ball over to Brady Walker. Body feints a plenty there from Keith Larson. Takes his time, slows things down a little bit. Does Keith Larson before driving at the Lansing Common back line. Left footed ball in, chested down, and cleared away by Lansing Common to Shadi Omar. It's been absolutely lethal up top for Lansing. Ty Uziak tried to get in behind James Lee there. James Lee calmly gets over and takes care of that one. And now gets Ryan Dobson underway. Dobson players forward. They were all calling for it. Alex to go to Lachlan Hepburn. Kellen Landefeld, the only remaining Michigan State player around these days for Detroit City FC's under-23 side. Keith Larson is a student at Michigan State University, does not play soccer there. Walker cutting inside. Mutana now. Sam Harshi. Walker. In some trouble here, does well to Beat both Shadi Omar and Esteban Russell, but eventually ball ends back up in Teal. Headed on by Dobson. The front three for Detroit City FC, very fluid so far. We've seen Keith Larson on the left and the center. We've also seen Wasim Mutana play up top and back in the number 10 role. Referee here is going to give out a yellow card. I believe that's got to be against the Lansing Common player. There's Julian Burge there. We'll see it there. Julian Burge just absolutely comes in. He got the ball, but the afterward, the follow-through was just vicious and I think worthy of a yellow card. We'll see another yellow card here. Wait, the yellow card, excuse me. No, the freak, okay. Two yellow cards for Lansing Common. The second one for Descent. First one to Julian Burge. The second one... I don't really know. The second one was for descent. Lansing Common players kind of 
trying to keep their teammate off the referee. He's already on a yellow early in this one, only 12 minutes. So I believe one yellow card was dished out to Kyle Scott, and then the second one was dished out to Julian Burge, one of those two being for descent, one being for the tackle in the midfield on Kellen Landefeld. So a bizarre couple minutes there in this one. Ball played forward. Josh Waits tried to take advantage of Keith Larson's height advantage there. And this game could get chippy. The stakes are definitely high, as I mentioned, in the open. See a ball over the top here to Shadi Omar, who's offside by about a country mile on that one. Julian Burge, of course, scored what was a wonder goal for Lansing Commons second against Detroit City FC. But into the book here early, only about 12 and a half minutes in when he officially got that yellow card. Two players now for Lansing with the yellow card cautions. We'll see a foul here. Referee gonna have to start calling these things to make sure this game doesn't get out of hand. Both teams, you can tell there's sort of a juice to this game. The stakes are high and both sides know it. Josh Oakley still arguing his case to the fourth official down there on the touch line. I'm Interested to see what he has to say. We'll see a replay of this most recent foul here. Kind of a... He goes for the ball, gets it through his legs, but again, the Lansing player goes down. We'll see a ball under the box here. Sean Ellis not really too confident about coming out for that one. Harshi eventually blasts it forward and goes out for a Lansing, or a Detroit City FC throw in, I believe. Hard to see with the opposing fan flags on that near side. Lansing Common technical staff not too pleased with what they're seeing so far. We see Mutana there kind of slipped. They're going to give it a free kick against Mutana. Didn't see the referee signal an advantage, but there was certainly one on display there. Referee people talk all the time about, oh, it's too early in the game for that foul like that to be warranted as a yellow card. Referee not subscribing to that. This is out two early ones to Lansing. Free kick now. Kyle Scott on it. Ball in. Really good ball in. Sean Ellis is going to have to come out to claim this one. Does well to leap up to it. And quickly tries to get his side back to the feet of Zion Beaton. Zion Beaton has Wasim Mutano with him up forward. Has Larson putting his name into the head of counter attackers. Good header there from Josh Adams to get it back to Zach Kelly. Both styles of play for these two teams definitely on display in this one. Detroit City FC with their constant pressure and Lansing Common really ruthless on the counter attack at times this season in the Midwest Premier League. See a foul in the midfield. Free kick taken. See the free kick here, yeah, just a shove in the back and right in the midfield we see Detroit City FC here could get something going with to the feet of Keith Larson. Tackle in the midfield there. Done well though by Dobson to make sure his side retains possession. Lee now forward. Thought he thought Zion Beaton was going to be running through there. Zion Beaton with his shirt tugged and then pushed over to the ground. Referee doesn't see that, but just a testament of how durable these Adidas kits are. Throw in on this near side. Zion's kind of I think that that wasn't called. Mutana with the tried to close control that one goes out for a Lansing common throw in player takes about seven eight extra yards. Lee's gonna let that one roll on back to Sean Ellis in net, Kalamazoo College goalkeeper. Mentioned he saved that penalty against Lansing away in that three nothing defeat. Julian Burge strike though not much he could have done. On that one, Lansing Commons second. And then just let down by his back line on that third Lansing Common goal. Detroit City FC slowing things down just a little bit here. Keith Larson now finds Dobson. Back to Larson. Just going to drive into the midfield here for Detroit City FC. Far side, Hepburn. Hepburn ball over the top. As well to find... 
Harshi. Harshi's been over the all over the field. Technically something in that midfield position, but we've seen him act as a left back at times, right back there for Detroit City FC. Mutana does really well to get over to Beaton. Zion Beaton gets it back to Mutana. Mutana now cutting in. Oh, one more man. All he had to do was beat. He had Brady Walker out here with him. Couldn't find him. Really clever play there from Esteban Russell. From DeWitt, another one of those Lansing area players. We'll see it again here. Mutana really well to create space for himself. Maybe looking for that final ball over Brady Walker. Now Lansing Common looking to get something on the counterattack going. Into the midfield now. Nice little one-two there from the Common. And for a second there, Lachlan Hepper and I thought Maybe he missed the tackle. Lansing Common. Dante Morissette not too happy about that call from the line judge on who gets possession. Brady Walker, of course, got the scoring started for Detroit City FC's developmental sides. Scoring a goal against Michigan Stars under 23 in that 2-1 victory out in Romeo, Michigan. Oh, the goal in that game scored by Bosch Chaney. The Tanny brothers not with the team anymore. Zion Beaton found with a really good ball. He's going to be forced out a little bit wide, more wide than he would prefer. A few step over, trying to work his way into the box. Gets the ball across. Mutana in the area. Mutana, left footed effort. Good save there. I don't know if it was really a save by Zach Kelly or more or less just a crucial block by the center back. Referee had to make the call that it wasn't a penalty, so didn't really see what that was all about. But a really dangerous chance there from Detroit City FC. Mutana, usually when he's in those positions, See the goal ripple. Mutana now, though, looking to make amends. Harshi tried to touch it past. Really clever play there from Harshi Landefeld. Just not really communication they would have liked for it. Ball played forward. Waits pushes it back to Sean Ellis. Really crucial shot there. Chance for Mutana. Detroit City FC. He'll want that one back. Goals do change games. Interested to see how this Lansing Common side would react to a, to a side going down. Correction from earlier. I guess only one yellow card was dished out. That was to number 23. Julian Burr still got that one right. Just thought the referee could have swore he showed yellow card to two different people. Maybe just clarifying for the coaching staff. Ellis. Ball played up. Hepper now going to try to get something going. The Saginaw State University Cardinal. Zion Beaton tries to get Keith Larson involved. Does Keith Larson think it to it? Pushed out rather wide, though, but beats his man Keith Larson. A little bit too much on it, but Brady Walker wins it back in the position. Brady Walker plays it in. Keith Larson has a touch. Played out to Landefeld and Again, Detroit City FC just not clinical enough getting in these dangerous positions. Referee had the whistle in his mouth for a second before putting it back into his pocket. But And now we'll see the foul here. We'll take a look at that one more time. Crucial interception there by Brady Walker to win it back. Thought Larson was just going to have a rip. Really didn't corral it well enough and just couldn't get it over to Landefeld. And Lance and Common have dodged two, maybe three bullets early in this one. 21 minutes gone. We had that Zion beaten header off the corner. But we see Mutana sort of miss kick. And now Lance and Common could cause some trouble of their own. Really crucial header there by Kellen Landefeld. Can feel the intensity of this one starting to pick up just a little bit. We see the punch away there by Ellis. That was a crucial one. He was diving to his right. James Lee tried to get it past and up to Sam Harshi. Nothing doing there. Dangerous ball played in just over the head of Ellis. It'll go off the post and out for Detroit City FC goal kick. Now look at that here. Lachlan Heppen really didn't time the tackle too well. The left footed ball came into the box. Took a slight deflection before hitting off. Going on a play out of danger for Detroit City FC goal kick. 
22 and a half minutes gone in this one. I think it's been a pretty even match so far. Detroit City FC having more of the dangerous chances. They've carved out two or three beautiful ones. Just unable to get that final touch, that final say, and putting it into the back of the net. Josh Oakley's been pretty vocal all game, coaching his side, telling them to weather this storm and to stick to their game plan. Sion Beaton misplaces a ball there. It's going to go out of play for a Lansing Common throw in. It's been a topsy turvy time to be a soccer fan in the city of Lansing. You know, of course, Detroit City FC familiar foes with Lansing United back in the old MPSL days and now kind of reunited back in the UWS. Detroit City FC women's first team beating Lansing United's team twice this year. 6 1 on the road and then 3 0 at home. Then, if you're a Lansing soccer fan, you had the Ignite for a little while and kind of faded away. And now Lansing Common sort of rising from the ashes a little bit, looking to be a fan-owned team where fans make a lot of the decisions. Seems to be a real community effort. Everyone I talk to has a lot of faith that this one won't be like the others. You see a turnover here in the midfield. Just unable to find that final ball up to Ty Uziak. Okemos, Michigan. A lot of people try to pronounce that Okemos. Okemos, here to tell you. Zion Beaton does really well to keep the ball there. Clever dribbling from Beaton. Does well to find Brady Walker. Coach Javi pushing his team forward. Walker now driving into the area. Left footed ball in over the top. Trying to find Landefeld on that. I think he's trying to keep it in and it goes just out of play. A little bit too much speed on that one. Referee says it'll go out for a Lansing Common. Throw and we'll see a water break here for both sides due to the heat. We saw a water break in Lansing. Very similar conditions in this one here today. I believe the rule is 90 degrees and over. Both sides get a water break. Detroit City FC comes into this one points per game margin of 2.75 Lansing Common with 2.2 points per game we'll see a replay here Walker just drove in tried to chip the ball up almost Cal Lanifel just tried his best to keep it in just goes out of play right before the referee calls for the water break water breaks of course are to hydrate the players but coaches also use it as a time to fix any mistakes that might be seeing their side making. We see Javi Bautista talking to specifically Sam Harshi and Ryan Dobson, his midfield duo. We see George Shamakov, who played crucial minutes for the Detroit City FC men's first team, speaking to Brady Walker, Zion Beaton. And we see goalkeeper coach Eric Perea talking to Sean Ellis. Eric Perea will do anything to help Sean Ellis in any way he can. Sean Ellis definitely grown into his role as the for the time being, Detroit City FC, U23 side goalkeeper. Coach Javi Bautista, of course, spent his time playing for Detroit City FC for a little while. Most recently, though, on Wednesday, when he came out as a substitute with that man right there, Keith Larson, he and Javi entered the match at the same time in that Nisa Independent Cup match. Almost linked up for a really good goal. Javi Bautista maybe could have laid it off to Keith Larson, but always knew he was going to shoot once he got into that position if you saw that match on Wednesday. Both sides out from the water break. Play will resume with that Lansing Common throw in deep into their own half as a B makes its way into the press box up here. Swatted away though. Zach Kelly's been pretty strong in net, answering all of Detroit City FC's questions. Not too many clear cut shots Detroit City FC have really taken in this one, but. Doing a really good job commanding his back line to make sure of that. Lansing Commons throw in, I believe, on that far side. But deep enough where Detroit City FC maybe win the first header, get the first ball back, they could be setting something up. Lansing Common taking their time to get over to this throw in. Players starting to look at the referee to see what that's all about. It's going to be taken by Dante Morissette from Ajax, Ontario. Throw in Zion Beaton trying to win that one back. 
Dobson heads it up. They're going to say it last. Goes off of the Lansing Common forward. So I guess when Ryan Dobson headed it, we see a touch there from Kyle Clayton, the Midwest Premier League Eastern Division media guy. Sam Harshi driving. They're going to say that was a foul in the midfield. Lansing player grabbing his face. Might have been something extracurricular in that. But referee gives the free kick to Detroit City FC. Taken quickly by Lachlan Hepburn. And now Ryan Dobson trying to play in. Brady Walker finds him. Walker back to the middle. Dobson, Zion beaten back to goal. Finds Brady Walker. Really good job. Ball into the box. Utana just not able to get on the end of that one. James Lee, crucial forward. Zion Beaton, pretty deep now. Harshi finds Larson. Keith Larson tries to create the space for himself to get the shot off and then throws his shoulder. We'll see a replay of that here. Walker played the ball in, just poked away crucially by that right-sided center back from Lansing, Aiden O'Connor. Free kick right top of the D for Lansing Common. Going to be taken by Zach Kelly. Just blasts it forward. Shady Omar trying to run onto it, but it's going to be seen out of play there by Brady Walker. At one point in this season was Detroit City FC's top goal scorer for this under-23 side. Scored two goals out in Livonia and Detroit City FC's 5-0 win there. Scored what ended up being the winner against the Michigan Stars away. The inaugural match for Detroit City FC. A really incredible volley. Chest bar and down to talk about that goal all the time. Really good stuff. We're seeing an early substitution here from Lansing United. Or excuse me, Lansing Common. She's just talking about the... See the substitute here, number six coming in for Lansing Common. going to be Esteban Russell coming out. Don't really have the names for Lansing Common substitutes. If you've been watching our broadcast all year, this is not like the UWS League 2 where players can go out and come back in. That We'll see Esteban Russell no more in this one. A turn away, turnover there. Really excellently won back there by James Lee. He's been ever present in Detroit City FC's back line this season. Forward now, Zion Beaton wins that physical battle in the midfield, tries to get the header down, chests it instead. Enough to get it over to Sam Harshi. Back to James Lee. Josh Waits finds Walker, who's been probably the most involved player for Detroit City FC in this one. Waits a four-year starter at Northward University, Manchester, England. Hepper now looking up, finding Zion beaten over the top. Zion beaten, chips the goalkeeper a little bit too much, goes through. Football goalpost. Not only chipped the goalkeeper, also chipped the crossbar. Goes out for a goal kick. We'll see another look at it here. Really good ball in by Lachlan Hepburn. Just unable to really corral it. It was Zach Kelly who ran out to put pressure on Zion Beaton. And that pressure was enough to see it over the bar. Didn't even need to throw his hands up at it or anything. That one was never going to make its way into the net. Interesting for Lansing Common. Every time Kelly has the ball in his hands, he rolls it out to his center back. But every time it's a goal kick situation or a free kick that he's taking, he elects to blast it long up to that forward line of Shadi Omar and Ty Uziak. Landefeld trying to win the ball back. Beaten. Of course, I mentioned the stakes of this one. Lansing Common coming to this one. Second place. Seven wins, one loss, and two draws. That loss was against the West Michigan Bearings not too long ago. Keith Larson, though, plays a ball in just too close to the goalkeeper and far away from Kellen Landefeld. Lansing coming to this one, 2.2 points per game. That's kind of the way you got to look at the table in the Midwest Premier League due to not, not a lot of schedule balance. Every team will play the same amount of games, just not at the same time. 
They've only played 10, Detroit City FC. This is their 13th match, so. Schedule. Detroit City FC, of course, 2.75 points per game. The only loss coming against Lansing Common in that 3-0 defeat. Just to stress again, Detroit City FC just outplayed in that one, already looking much improved on this. So Javi Bautista mentioned ahead of that game against Grand Rapids. A lot of the first teamers away with the team now. He said that a lot of this team's success going forward these last couple games in the season will depend on these guys who might have been on the bench all season coming in and integrating themselves quickly into this team to make an impact. Lannefeld, clever flick into the path of Wasim Mutana. Gets it out to Lachlan Hepburn. A few touches from Hepburn, gets it over to Landefeld. Finds Larson with his back to goal. Keith Larson spreads play out wide to Brady Walker. Brady Walker leads it off to Zion Beaton. Ball into the box. Mutana tried to take a touch and turn perhaps, but Landefeld wins it back. Brady Walker now left-footed effort by Brady Walker was always rising, never dropping and goes out for a Lansing Common goal kick. See it there again, just won the ball back in a dangerous position, just went over, always rising again through the football goal posts. Trucks to the FC though starting to ask more questions with shots of the like. Their two most dangerous chances were kind of just miscommunications at the back that almost led to something, but now Two real shots coming in from Detroit City FC's forward line. Landefeld started to drift back a little deeper. Has Kellen Landefeld. Finds a good ball into a C. Mutana's path. Mutana right footed ball into the box. Walker's running out of it now. Brady Walker plays it across with speed. Maybe tried to find a just a tap on frame that would have done the trick there. Either by beating or Mutana. We'll see it again here. Right footed ball in over everybody. Walker arriving at that far post. Yeah, it didn't really look like a shot to me. Look, he tried to shape that one across goal and hope for a tap in from one of his attacking teammates. Kept in there by Landefeld. Sam Harshi doing really well. Of course, Sam Harshi, Dexter Michigan High School. Or excuse me, Dexter High School. Yale now. Larson goes off the face of Mutana, but retained by Larson. Out to Walker, left footed ball in by Brady Walker. Zion Beaton's free, and Zion Beaton heads home to give Detroit City FC the 1 0 lead in what could be a crucial match in the Eastern Division of Midwest Premier League. We see Brady Walker, beautiful ball into the box. Zion Beaton was free. It was Dante Morissette who allowed him to be free in the area, and Zion Beaton celebrates with the fans. Sean Ellis even came up from his goal. They all know the importance of that one. And Detroit City FC up as we come into the final phase of this first half. Captain James Lee giving high fives to his whole back line. Could be a crucial goal in the landscape of this Eastern Division of the Midwest Premier League. Of course, Lansing Common need to win this match. Find themselves in a hole here looking to get right back at Detroit City FC. Clear it away, Sam Harshi, who started that last move that led to the goal. It really was a beautiful ball into the box by Walker. Lansing Common was letting him have all that space all match. Didn't really cost them too much, but now we see it. Lansing Common get their first corner of the game. And if Josh Oakley was active on the touchline before, he certainly is going to ramp that up a little bit now. First corner of the match, though, for Lansing Common here. Sean Ellis trying to coordinate with his defenders where he wants them on this corner. Coming in now. Played across. Sean Ellis didn't really get up to reach it. Larson's going to clear it away. Only as far as we'll see Mutana, who's dispossessed then by Lutrum Shakui. Larson tried to win it back there. Mutana ends up pushing it out. We'll say he touched it last. It'll be a throw into the common. George the FC, good shot there not to switch off. Lansing Common tried to take the throw in quickly. 37 and a half minutes gone. Detroit City FC on the board 
one to nothing. We'll say the goal had been coming. Most of the chances have been to my left here on the Lansing Common goal. Really was the first shot that was on target, so to say. Got Kelly unable to get to that one. It was Dante Morissette from Ajax, Ontario, who left Zion beaten free. Good ball by Waits to find Larson. Keith Larson tried to play it in with C. Mutana. Still might be on here. Mutana pressing the goalkeeper. Nearly got something on there as Zach Kelly hit it away as soon as he could. Putting a not the best position there by Josh Adams, his left sided center back. Detroit City FC. Any sort of result for them. Detrimental to Lansing Commons chances. Waits forward to Dobson. Dobson out to Brady Walker, who also scored in that 7-2 win at Lake St. Clair FC on Wednesday. That 7-2 thrashing. There were two traveling Detroit City FC fans at that one. Shout out to them for being out there at Mount Clemens High School to support the under-23 side. Rutanov lays it back. Gets it back. And sort of not of a 1-2, but more of a 1-2-3 situation. Again, just pressing Zach Kelly and trying to get a mistake out of him. Throw in on the far side by Hepburn coming up. James Lee and Josh Waits have really formed a solid center back pairing for Detroit City FC in this Midwest Premier League. Nearly every single match they've been anchoring that back line. Mutana tried to get a foot in there and dispossess Aiden O'Connor. Had the center back pairing mixed up, excuse me. Zion Beaton looking to press O'Connor, giveaway there. Landefeld wins it back. Zion Beaton played through, Zion Beaton, right footed effort, hits the crossbar. He'll want that one back, he was through on goal. We saw him score a goal similar to that against Lake St. Clair at home. We see Trevor James down there in the first suite. We'll see another look at it here. Really good win by Landefeld. Right footed effort, just too much on it. Zach Kelly was beaten, just couldn't keep it down. Zion Beaton. Been looking dangerous all day whenever he can break that Lansing Common back line. Lethal finisher. We've seen all throughout the season whenever he's through on goal. Sometimes has trouble getting through on goal, but he'll want that chance back. Omar does really well to play in Ty Uziak. Walker trying to do something there with it. Uziak dribbles into the box, plays it across. Sean Ellis maybe got a hand on that one. What could be a crucial save. Lansing Common going into this one with their second corner of the match. And for five minutes here, see Uziak dribbled in. Ball played across. Crucial, crucial save there by Sean Ellis to keep his side in front. The last corner that Lansing Common took, it was Sean Ellis who didn't seem too confident in punching it. Actually missed it. Lansing Common going to maybe try to make him pay for that. Near side corner. Ball played in. Some scramble on the front. It'll go into the back of the net. Lansing Common equalized here. Sort of a mishmash, which led to Julian Burge equalizer. We'll have to get another look at that one. 41 minutes gone. It's a 1 1 ball game. Sean Ellis. Going to be disappointed with that one. So 1-1 one, one game. Julian Burge now scoring in both fixtures against Detroit City FC. I think Common bringing some fans with them to Keyworth Stadium today. See a look at it here. Corner was played in. Just a really good header coming across goalie. Was well marked, it has to be said. Just a lethal header from Julian Burge, the East Lansing, Michigan native. Really good header there from Burge. Both goals scored with heads so far. Keith Larson cutting in. Good ball to Kellen Landefeld. Kellen Landefeld plays it off to Zion Beaton. Zion Beaton strike. Crucial save by Zach Kelly, who did so well to get down to that one. Really good play there by Larson to find Landefeld. Laid it back off. 
See another look at it here. Clever little back heel. It was Zion Beaton who tried to go near post. Zach Kelly did well to get down to his right. Corner now for Detroit City FC. Both sides picking up the intensity just a little bit. Corner coming in now for Detroit City FC. Into the box. Headed on. James Lee gets it back into the air. Cleared away eventually by Lansing Common. Only as far as Sam Harshi, who get it out to Ryan Dobson. Dobson's going to find Walker. Goes back to him. Dobson trying to turn there, get something going. Turnover. Forward now. Lansing Common. Shady Omar making a run in behind. Always a scary sight for defenses. Ball now. Lansing Common's right back. Finds Ty Uziak. Uziak, who dribbled in to create the corner that led to the last Lansing Common goal. Might have touched the ball with his hand there as he went to ground. Referee's going to say there's a free kick against Lansing Common. Free kick edge of the area for Lansing Common here. Their danger's been on set pieces. Thought for sure Ty Uziak, when he went to ground, got a hand on that one, but referee probably thought there was no malicious intent with that. Not intentional by any means. He's fallen down. What do you want him to do? But result in a Lansing Common free kick. Sean Ellis constructing his wall. Looks like Lachlan Hepburn, Kellen Landefeld, and Brady Walker, the three-man wall. Played across, top of the area, right footed ball in. Really clever that set piece technique there from Lansing Common, goes out for Detroit City FC throw in. 44 and a half minutes approaching on the clock. This final five to 10 minutes of this first half has really been box office stuff from both sides. We'll see Mutana trying to get a foot in there. Sam Harshi. Pursues his number compatriot. Saw something fly off the top of the press box there. Zion Beaton looking to get something in behind there. Ball played over the top. Back into the chest of Sean Ellis who settles it. Plays it across to James Lee. We are into stoppage time in this first half here at Keyword Stadium and what's been a really entertaining encounter if you're a neutral or if you're a fan of either of these two sides. Appreciate you tuning into the YouTube stream if you couldn't make it out to Keyword Stadium today. See a foul against Detroit City FC which causes some groans from the crowd. Three minutes of stoppage time here at Keyword Stadium. Excellent job by our production staff to get that one up on the score bug for you here. Offside against Lansing Common. It'll be a what's essentially a goal kick for Detroit City FC where Sean Ellis going to take this one. Plays it up the middle to Harshi. He's going to find Mutana. See Mutana running forward with it now. Loses out on the physical battle there to Kyle Scott. Bringing him to ground. Kyle Scott, just another clarification, not on the yellow card on that situation in the first 10 minutes of the match. Referee just showed the yellow card for number 23 to three different angles, so I thought he gave it to maybe another Lansing Common player. Free kick taken quickly by Josh Adam. Aiden O'Connor now. James Lee wins that one back cleanly. Lansing Common bench not too happy about it. Lachlan Hepburn trying to slip in Zion Beaton. And pokes a foot at that one to keep it in. Referee going to be checking his watch to see where we're at in the stoppage time situation. 1-1 one, one scoreline here at Keyworth Stadium as we have to be close to halftime at this point. Both goals coming via headers. One of them from overplay situation, another one from a corner. Josh Waits does well to get back to Sean Ellis who's going to Maybe a bit more worried about that one for a split second. But it looks like he might just blast this one forward and hope to hear the whistle. Lansing Common not really pressing here. Does just that. Into the midfield, one back really well there by Aiden O'Connor. And then headed away again by him. Really staunch center back in the middle of defense for 
Aiden O'Connor. Mutana lays it off to Landefeld, who was involved in that 1-2 play with Zion Beaton in the box that led to a Detroit City FC shot. Zion Beaton heads it into the path of Mutana. Referee been letting him play all match in this one. Certainly feels like a cup final, like the stakes are high. Referee takes another glance down at his watch. Might just see this Lansing Common attack make its way. And then we hear the whistle for halftime. Detroit City FC won, Lansing Common won. It was a really entertaining affair here at Keyworth Stadium. Take a quick halftime break. We'll be back for the second half here on YouTube. Don't go anywhere. Huge 45 minutes ahead for both sides.
Welcome back to Keyworth Stadium, Detroit City FC and Lansing Common FC knotted up at one goal apiece here in what is a crucial match to decide the Eastern Division of the Midwest Premier League. Any drop points for Lansing Common, and that is it. Detroit City FC will be crowned champion to this Eastern Division. They will clinch with one game left against BIH Grand Rapids in Grand Rapids on Wednesday. Right now, Lansing Common's goal ended up being the equalizer after Zion Beaton got on the end of a really beautiful ball under the box by Brady Walker. Then, a couple minutes later, Lansing Common off a corner got in. And that was the second in that one. 1-1. One, one. It was a really good header. It was Julian Burge who was just running across the face of goal, flicked it on to that far post. And everyone, including Sean Ellis, most notably, was beaten. And it's tied at one here. Lansing Common needs a goal, needs to get three points in this one. Of course, if they do win, though, Lansing Common do win. Detroit City FC travels to Grand Rapids. They only need to get a result out there. So it's not the end of the world if Lansing Common win, but Detroit City FC would love to wrap it up here today in front of the home fans, as well as just setting things down and calming them out for that final game against Grand Rapids. No changes from Coach Javi Bautista's side, also no changes for Josh Oakley's side for the visitors. Lansing, ball played over the top here. Keith Larson gonna look to get a hat on that, does well to get it. Zion Beaton's gonna take advantage of that misplaced ball. Gonna play it out to Lachlan, or Brady Walker, excuse me. Harshi into the hands of Zach Kelly. Maybe was looking for some movement there from Keith Larson, but nothing doing on that occasion. Zach Kelly rolls it out to Aiden O'Connor. Aiden O'Connor, massive part of that Lansing Common back line, both literally and importance to the team. Sam Harshi has been the engine of this Detroit City FC side. Of course, Sheon Soga, not seen him yet. He's down there near the bench, but has a polo on, so I don't expect to see him in this match. Muscle strain he's dealing with. Lansing Common looking to get some early in this second half. Sean Ellis going to wave off his defenders and run out to claim that one. Before playing out to Josh Waits, who I mentioned in that first half, played better side of 80 minutes of that Detroit City FC men's first team match against FC Buffalo in the Nisa Independent Cup in their 3-1 victory. Looked really composed as part of that Detroit City FC first team back line. Didn't put a foot wrong all night. Been crucial to this under 23 side. Him and James Lee, really strong center back pairing for Javi Bautista's side. Whole coaching staff's got to be satisfied with how that one turned out. Waits into the feet of Mutana, who turns and is now running at Lansing Common. We see Mutana, left-footed effort, saved by Zach Kelly. Really good save. Equally as good move there for Mutana to even force the save. It was pretty much a no man's land when he received that ball. We'll take another look at it here. Just really well to dribble inside. Get it onto his left foot, have the strike, and now goes out for a Detroit City FC corner. Looks like it will be Ryan Dobson to run over to take this one. One of the taller players in this Detroit City FC side. Shocked to see him taking the corner and not throwing it in. Unable to get the head on it there was Lachlan Hepburn. We'll see Mutana sort of wins that battle and then runs on to nearly beat Shadi Omar to that one. Landefeld. Been absolutely lethal in winning these turnovers. James Lee there. Slight miscommunication. We've seen that a few times this year. Out of the Detroit City FC center back. Larson, near side. Gets it into Ryan Dobson, who's just unable to really control that one. Goes out of play now for a Lansing Common throw in. Brady Walker lost out in that physical battle, but runs from out of bounds to come back in and win that one. Number 11, Latrium Chef Cooey can't believe it. James Lee, a little bit of a mistouch there. Shady Omar here could be through. Sam Harshi trying to run over to clean it up. Sean Ellis comes out, tucked home by Lansing Common. A mistake at the back. 
leads to that. Shadi Omar really well to play in. Matriam Shefkui, who couldn't believe that last throw in was turned over there. We'll get another look at it here. Just a really composed finish. It was Sean Ellis who tried to come out. Lansing Common get the goal that they need. They go 2-1 up here. We'll see it here. Just an unfortunate situation there from James Lee with Sam Harsh who tried to come over. But that layoff from Shadi Omar into the path of Lutrium Chef Cooey. Just enough to tuck it home past Sean Ellis. Now Lansing Common find themselves ahead 2-1 in this one. Harshi now turn over here. Detroit City FC look like they've been on the back foot ever since the break. Lansing Common now edge of the area. Right footed ball in. Cleared away by Lee. No mistakes that time. Landafell tries to touch it down. Forward now. Harshi trying to get in the path of Keith Larson who switched sides since the goal. Really early second half goal there. Any team talk that Javi, Coach Javi Bautista would have given to his side, not necessarily maybe thrown out the window, but definitely he would like to amend it now a little bit. Headed on there by Marco Bernardini, who's the Detroit City FC 2012 player, made the first ever road trip with DCFC. Keith Larson now over the top. Keith Larson takes a touch, tries to get it inside on Beaton, touch home. Referee did not put the flag up on the near side. It was Keith Larson, and now Zion Beaton celebrates and wheels away. Does what he does, tucks it home. Good job by everybody. Keith Larson played the ball in. We'll take another look at it here. Good ball at to the top to Matana. Finds Larson. Larson had the shot. It was Beaton at the near post who tucks it home. Lansing Common team, entirety of them, looking for that offside flag. It was never going to come. And Detroit City FC level the game at two. Both goals in this one to go ahead. We've seen almost immediately crossed out by both sides. Goals change games. Now a 2-2 ball game in this one. Zion Beaton gets his second of the match. Keith Larson, I do believe that would have been a shot from him. But really good awareness there from Zion Beaton not to switch off and be there that new post to tuck it home. Zach Kelly out to lunch on that one. Ball played over the top. Gonna go out of play. Detroit City FC now. Looking to ask all the questions. Said it once, I'll say it again. The importance of this match. Lansing Common needs a win. Otherwise, Detroit City FC could have one hand on the cup of the Eastern Division of the Midwest Premier League. Decent amount of crowd on hand here. Fair amount of traveling supporters from Lansing who would have in a span of a couple minutes been absolutely delighted and then brought back down to earth. We see a misplaced ball here. Really good awareness by Lachlan Hepburn. Again, Lachlan Hepburn now looking up, looking forward. Zion Beaton calling forward in the, oh, just unable to find him. Zion Beaton came out. Wasn't going to break that back line. Had his back to goal. Maybe try to find Wasim Mutana. But now Lansing Common looking to get something going. Intensity. If it was on nine before, it's certainly on ten now. Josh Adam. Finds it inside. Number six for Lansing Common was substituted in. About 20-minute mark. Been out there ever since. Ball over the top. Headed away by James Lee. Looked on there, unable to keep it down either side. Zion Beaton gets it out to Kellen Landefeld on this near side, the Michigan State Spartan. Landefeld plays it across to Mutana. Mutana unable to get there before Zach Kelly does. He had Keith Larson free at the far post. Letrium Chef Cooey, the person who put Lansing up. We'll see another look at it here. Landefeld tried to just slip it across, maybe into Mutana looking for that clever back heel or something of the sort but maybe just too close to that goal line. Near side now, Dante Morissette. Running at Detroit City FC's back line. Furthest forward he's been all day for Lansing Common. Back to O'Connor. Marco Bernardini.
Keith Larson wins the ball back and is now driving at Lansing Common. Keith Larson, three on two situation here for Detroit City FC. Keith Larson cutting inside, back to his outside. Keith Larson tries to get it under Zach Kelly. Had bodies forward with him there, maybe wanted to lay it off, but he'll fancy himself with the form he's in to tuck that one home. Back and forth game now, really open. Josh Waits as well, we'll see it here. Larson inside, then outside, and then tried to, not really able to get the shot off there. Good job by the Holt Michigan, Zach Kelly. Landefeld up, kind of miscommunication there between Zion Beaton and we'll see Mutana. Josh Oakley, as vocal as he's been all day now. James Lee heads it into the path of Ryan Dobson. Flicks it over his head, trying to find maybe somebody goes out for a throw, and we'll see this game maybe slow down just a little bit. The last four or five minutes have sort of just been as open-ended as a football match can be. James Lee, though, clearing his lines. Detroit City FC and Javier Bautista's side going to reshape here. 53 and a half minutes gone. Scoreline is 2-2. Two to two. Detroit City FC got on the board first via Zion beaten header. And then off a corner, Lansing common equalized through the head of Julian Burge. Then early in the second half, it was Adrian Chef Cooey who put the visitors ahead right before that Zion beaten goal that you just saw. Misplaced ball there by Dante Morissette. Mutana got a foot in there. Is it going to be enough to win possession back for his side? Not really. Wearing that armband is Marco Bernardini. Mentioned before, Detroit City FC player in 2012. Made the first road trip with Detroit City FC. Did number eight, Marco Bernardini for Lansing Common. Now plays his trade in the Midwest Premier League, Laponia, Michigan. Good touch there from Keith Larson to get it back to Brady Walker. He's going to want it back as he's making the run himself. Not the best shaped ball. Zion Beaton's going to get a touch on it. Zion Beaton has Keith Larson up with him. Keith Larson played through on goal. Keith Larson, right footed strike, finds the back of the net. Keith Larson makes it 3-2 to two here at Keyword Stadium. A gorgeously worked team goal from Detroit City FC finds them back ahead. Take another look at it here. Great job by Zion Beaton to slow it down. Keith Larson, three touches before putting it past Zach Kelly and celebrating on that far side by the corner flag. Detroit City FC three, Lansing Common two. Detroit City FC needed a win in this one to clinch it. And right now, things are looking good, but what a match this has been if you're a neutral or a fan of either side. Just absolutely box office stuff from both of these teams. These are the very two best teams in this division at this level, and that's on full display here today. Ball played in, Sean Ellis gets to ground. See it here again, Zion Beaton just doing so well to slow play down and allow Keith Larson to run by him. It was so calm from Keith Larson to get it past Zach Kelly. Keith Larson's been an absolute starlet for this Detroit City FC in 23 side this season. And that play was recognized by Detroit City FC general manager and first team head coach Trevor James, who gave him some playing time in the first team against FC Buffalo. We see Mutana doing well to win the ball back in the midfield now. Trying to drive at Lansing Common. We we'll see Mutana find space on that touchline. Has numbers up forward with him. Mutana, edge of the area, finds Landefeld. Landefeld cuts inside, tries to put it over Zach Kelly, nearly does, and goes out for a Detroit City FC corner. Lansing Common been on the back foot ever since the Detroit City FC equalizer at two. See it again here. Landefeld received it. Trying to just dink it over Zach Kelly, who got a crucial hand on it. Detroit City FC now going to take their time before telling Ryan Dobson to run over and take another corner. All the fans here, Keyword Stadium, seeing an absolute wonderful match. Ball put in by Dobson over everybody. Josh Wade's going to try to track it down. Does well to keep it in play before playing it over to Lachlan Hepburn. Hepburn right for the ball under the box. Zion Beaton headed on. Cleared away 
like Josh Adam. Not too convincing though. Keith Larson creating space for himself. Getting to that midfield. Zion Beaton now dribbling. Pushed off the ball. Now Lance and Common trying to get something going on this counterattack. Shady Omar with a really good ball over the top. Ty Uziak's going to try to settle that one down, but Lachlan Hepburn's there to put out that fire for his Detroit City FC side. Lansing Common trying to ignite something here. Ball put over the top with C. Mutana. He's going to try to get in behind Morissette. Miscommunication there. Zach Kelly definitely has to see that one go out of play for a Detroit City FC corner. Good call on the field by the referee. I think he controlled that one in play, but then his role is what brought it out of play. We'll see it here. Morissette, not the most convincing header of all time. And then, yeah, of course. Right there, rolls out of play. Not even a question for that one. Referee does well to call the corner. Detroit City FC corner now on this near side. 60 and a half minutes gone. Corner played in. Not really too convincing. Not really a lot of communication as the ball goes over the Keyworth wall. We're going to have to see best ball boys in the industry go and get that one. Corner again for Detroit City FC. Referee likes what he sees. Allows the corner to take place. Here we go. Ball into the box. Headed away. That time by Aiden O'Connor. Detroit City FC can play this game all day. 61 minutes gone now. Detroit City FC. 3-2 lead. Corner coming in now. Whenever the referee allows it to ball in over everybody. So three, all those three corners from Detroit City FC, none of them really better than the ones prior. And it goes out for a Lansing Common goal kick. See a substitute here for Lansing. As number five enters the match. Five for two there. We'll see the right back Kyle Scott replaced on that far side. Lansing Common gonna have to start pushing forward in this one, which of course will expose them at the back a little bit with the way Detroit City FC's forwards have been playing in terms of you know, winning those final balls from the center backs and then breaking forward and trying to punish them. That could spell trouble for the visitors. Mutana now trying to settle this one in. Lays it off to Harshi been absolutely crucial for that Detroit City FC midfield, sort of a linchpin so far today. Dobson out to Hepburn. Hepburn back to Lee. Detroit City FC looking to slow things down here maybe. Harshi out to Walker. Walker inside to Harshi. Over the top and just bounces out of play. Too much on that one from Sam Harshi. Miscontrol there. Lansing Commons captain, just Kellen Landefeld tried to maybe get something going too quick there. Back into the hands of Zach Kelly, and now feed him Morissette. Morissette making a run of his own on this near side, the most further forward he's been. Shadi Omar tried to be found in behind there. Nothing doing. Shadi Omar kept quiet in a lot of ways, except for his involvement in that second Lansing Common goal so far in this one for how lethal he's been up top. Detroit City FC's center back pairing of James Lee and Josh Waits. Really good job keeping him under wraps in this one. Sixty-three and a half minutes gone now. Aiden O'Connor on the ball for the visitors. Good tackle there by James Lee. Win the ball back for his side. Walker forward. Zion Beaton's up there with O'Connor but he's gonna take a few touches before playing it across Field to Josh Adams, try to switch play to this near side. Josh Adams now running into the midfield. Kellen Landefell, I thought, won the ball on a shoulder to shoulder challenge. Referee sees it a different way. And Lansing Common looking to get going quickly with this one. They have to. They're starting to 
We've run out of time here at Keyworth Stadium. Lee now forcing the Lansing attacker out wide. Good win there by Lachlan Hepburn. Only as far as Josh Adam. Goes out of play for a Detroit City FC throw in. Zion Beaton touches it down, plays it across to Sam Harshi. Sam Harshi running with his head up. Forward now, trying to get Brady Walker more involved in an advanced position. This second half, we've seen him a little bit more reserved, more keen to defend than he was in that first half. Walker forward now, trying to slip in Mutana, who does the best as he can do it to keep it for his side. Dobson's going to try to press and win the ball back in the midfield, unable to do so. And now Lansing Common has some space going forward. Chef Cooey now forced out wide. Dribbling into the box. Josh waits. Really calm, cool, and collected. Interception there. We see Mutana find Zion Beaton. Zion Beaton with the ball over the top. Tries to get to Larson. Excellent. Job nearly there by Larson to flick it past Aiden O'Connor, then get through on that one. Just hair away from that one, working out. Dante Morissette on this near side. Shaddy Omar. Omar versus Hepburn. Goes back into the midfield. Shaddy Omar forced out wide. Not sure he's too effective on this near side. I'm sure Josh Oakley will know that. Try to rectify that as soon as he can. And Lansing Common looking to ignite something here. Morrison. Morissette, excuse me. Back to Zach Kelly. Aiden O'Connor. Tries to find one ball in over the top. Brady Walker well to keep it in play, but could be at risk here. Lansing Common, edge of the area. Shaddy Omar tried to flick it into the path of Morissette. O'Connor calming down Josh Adam. 67 minutes gone now. Heat's definitely stayed up here at Keyword Stadium. Saw the water break in the first half. Mutana looking to press, but Aaron Ball in the midfield makes Marco Bernardini track all the way back to basically a center back position. Captain's armband for Lansing Common, club's first ever captain. Colin Landefeld hasn't stopped running all day, wins the ball back in a crucial position here for LaRouge. Sam Harshi back to Josh Waits. Waits into the path of Walker. Harshi. Good job there. Clever play from Sam Harshi. Of course, Sam Harshi coached at Yale by Kylie Sanders, Detroit City FC's first ever head coach. He would have coached Marco Bernardini in that first year in Rouge and Gold's history. Of course, been tuning into under 23 matches. See his young midfielder lace up for the Rouge and Gold. Tried to get something going there. It'd be the Cal Lanifel who wins it back. Zion Beaton, not on the same page as the Michigan State Spartan there. James Lee heads it away. Lanifel tries to keep that one in, I believe he was almost successful, but just unable to get there. Not the tallest guy in the world, Kel Landefeld, but sure wins a lot of headers. Kel Landefeld, the man of the match in Livonia, Detroit City FC's 5-0 victory over there at Schoolcraft College. Ball played in now. Right footed ball across the goal. James Lee's gonna play it out. Sean Ellis might have wanted to claim that one. 
Water break here at Keyworth Stadium. 69 minutes gone. It's like a nice time for a water break and there's this heat, especially on the turf. We see here Shion Soga handing out water bottles to Zion Beaton and also coaching his team up a little bit while Shion Soga's injured. It's good to see him handing out water bottles, still being a part of this side as he's been the most crucial part of this team's attack all year. And it would feel wrong if he wasn't here involved in what's the most important match of the season for this Detroit City FC side. Mentioned it in that first half water break. While it's to hydrate the players, it's also for these coaches an opportunity to kind of fix something they've been seeing that's they're not the biggest fan of. We see Ross Gibson in there who coached the side out in Mount Clemens on Wednesday while Javi Bautista was here on the bench and then played for Detroit City FC. Substitution getting ready here for LaRouge. Coming into the match will be Jack Strayberger. Referee's trying to make sure all is well and good. Not sure who's coming out yet for LaRouge. Kellen Anifel puts his hand up and says, it's me that's coming out. 15 for, 25 for 15, excuse me. Detroit City FC make their first sub 70 minutes into this match. Lansing Common here, 20 minutes to find two goals to keep their title chances alive. They all know that some intense conversations going on down there with Josh Oakley and a few of his players. Detroit City FC have to be pleased with what they've seen so far. The goals, a lot of them have been emotional. We've seen the equalizer, which of course was a pretty big equalizer from Lansing, and then Detroit City FC having to be play the role of equalizer before Keith Larson had that decisive right-footed strike that found his way past Zach Kelly and rippled the net. Coming out of the water break now. Two very different mindsets here have to be on display. George Shamakov, part of this under-23's coaching staff. Throw in on that far side for Lansing Common. Jack Strayberger enters the match for Kellen Landefeld. Interesting shake up at the back line here. Josh, James Lee does well to see it out of play. Sean Ellis take a goal kick. He'll take his time with this one. Gonna start to see some gamesmanship here, I believe, out of the Detroit City FC. Just taking some time off the clock, taking maybe a little bit more time with some of their actions. Goal kicks, we see Sean Ellis, of course, needing his stretches before taking this one. Tana thought about going out for the header. It's Harshi that ends up getting the first Detroit City head on it. Dante Morissette sees that one goes out of play. Not the best showing out of number 17 on that left back spot for Lansing Common. Of course, left Zion beaten unmarked for that first goal. Tough few minutes for him so far in this one. Zion beaten on the ball now. Wright State University gets it out to receive Mutana. Cutting inside. Goes down, Zion Beaton gets on the end of it, but pushed off by the Lansing Common substitute number six. Waits. Going out wide to nobody out there on that near side. Lansing Common throw in, deep in their own half. Jack Strayberger has had a few appearances for Detroit City FC's under 23 side. Situations like this where they need to kill the game. Lansing Common gonna have to start pressing forward here sometime soon if they wanna get anything out of this one. Those players will know, and I'm sure Javi touched on that at the water break, that when that starts to happen, really start to press those center backs, really start to press those midfielders into a mistake, because if they have bodies committed forward, less numbers going back, clearly. Fans on display here, not only 
high in numbers, but also high in spirits. Been pretty loud ever since that Keith Larson goal to make it three to two. James Lee free kick. Blast that one forward. Header there by Aiden O'Connor. Good win back there by Brady Walker though. Keith Larson trying to win a physical battle on the far side touch line. Poked away. Shadi Omar now, really good skills out of him. Only as far as Larson though. Harshi now. Keith Larson. Ball looks glued to his feet now, Keith Larson. Cut inside again, referee's gonna say no foul there. Gets right back up and back onto the ball. Goes down a few times there. Takes a second to get back up to his feet, but eventually does so. Good signs there. Saw the intensity of the game in terms of foul will start to pick up at the end of that first half. No signs of that in the second half yet. Josh Adams running forward with the ball now. Lays it off to his partner in crime, Aiden O'Connor. In the final 15 minutes of this match, Sean Ellis coming out, wins the header. Definitely would have screamed, I got it in that situation, and he did on this occasion. Zach Kelly now out of his penalty area. Start to see Josh Adams advance forward. Lansing here, look to nick something. Walker plays it up into the path of Ryan Dobson. Lays it off for Wasim Mutana. Wasim Mutana from Hamtramck, Michigan. Zion Beaton retains possession for his side. Zion Beaton plays it out wide to Strayberger. Strayberger now cuts outside. Strayberger, right-footed effort across goal. Nearly into the path of Mutana from the Lansing Commons center back. Strayberger doing really well to track back and put some pressure on Lutrium. Chef Cooey. Played across now. Bernardini inside to Adams. Walker. Wait, hands behind the back. Doesn't want to commit anything silly there. Ball one back to my Lansing Common, though. Shady Omo gets a shot. It's going to go out for Lansing Common corner. Again, sort of a shaky moment there for Detroit City FC's back line. Lansing Common are going to have to commit bodies forward on these set pieces. We'll see it again here. Yeah, Wait's just lost it there. And Omar, really crucial block there by Lachlan Hepper and to watch it go out for a corner. Lansing Common's first goal was on a corner. Detroit City has not Detroit City FC, excuse me, haven't looked too confident in dealing with Lansing Common set pieces. And now we'll see more common players in the box than we have all match. Corner coming in now, far side. Played in, goes over everybody. Brian Dobson's gonna be happy to watch this one bounce out for a Detroit City FC throw in. I'm sure they'll take their time delegating who's gonna take this one. Lachlan Hepburn, no surprises, strolling over to it. Of course, get this one out of play before he throws it back in play. 78 minutes gone now. Strayberger, really good one too with Mutana there. If he can keep it in, we'll see Mutana gets on the end of it. O'Connor trying to force him out wide. Mutana cuts inside. Zion beaten edge of the area. Tries to get something going, try to get space for himself. Take the shot, Strayberger now, right-footed effort. Not enough speed on that one. Didn't really hit it too cleanly. Right into the hands of Zach Kelly though. Strayberger has looked really good since coming out on this near side. We'll see it again here. Zion Beaton tried to create space. Just poked away there, but really good job to find Strayberger. Just didn't really strike it as cleanly as he would have liked. Strayberger. Harshi wins it back in the midfield. Would have wanted Wasim Matana to step to that one. Harshi now exposed forward. Went in for the ball. Thought he got it there. Lansing Common player just kind of laying out on the turf. Referee's not going to let, going to be a yellow card to Sam Harshi. Yeah, that seems 
We'll see it here. It was from behind. Looks like to me it was the ball referee has the final say, and I believe the yellow card was for dissent and not the foul itself because it did come sometime after that first whistle. We saw Sam Harsh to get a yellow card against Grand Rapids late in that match. Probably his second yellow card in just as many games. I believe that one was for dissent as well. Lansing Common, ball in, clever flick into the box. Pushed away eventually by Detroit City FC. Zion Beaton gonna run to try to keep this one in play for his side. You can see it bounce out a few times. Full going into the hands of Chef Cooey for a throw in. 80 minutes gone at Keyword Stadium. Detroit City FC up three to two. Sam Harshi now running with the ball. Finds Mutana, Zion Beaton down in the midfield, but Mutana driving at this Lansing Common back line. Mutana really good play there from him. Not really able to get it past Lansing Common. Detroit City FC for the time being with a man down gonna go out of play for a throw and referee gonna stop play for the substitution. We'll see Zion Beaton gingerly walk off the field. Being replaced by number 11. Amadeo Crovase. Two more substitutes coming in for Lansing, I guess. Crovase in for City now, replacing Zion Beaton, who had two goals in this one. Number eight, Marco Bernardini coming off, the captain for Lansing Common. Off in this one. Lansing Common with some confusion here. Who's being subbed? They don't have much time to get things wrong like this. We see the substitution coming in. Number 12 enters the match for number 15. Number 15, of course, came in to this match as a substitute. Not too long ago, actually. So an interesting sub there from Josh Oakley's side. Crovasse they can't miss him down there on the field with the hair situation he's got going on. Not played many minutes so far for the Detroit City FC side. Ball over the top. Lansing Common here could end to something. Ball into the box. Josh Waits heads away for Detroit City. Uh, Lansing Common, excuse me, throw in deep in Detroit City FC's half. Brady Walker plays it up. Shady Omar gets the better of James Lee there. Chip in over the top. Brady Walker heads it away. Harshi on a yellow card has to be careful. Then pushed off the ball there. Detroit City FC's coach staff thinks it's rather unfair that he was pushed off in that way. Free kick here in a dangerous position for Lansing Common, edge of the area. See it here again. Yeah, just kind of pushed him over. I don't think anyone was arguing that that was a foul. You see it again here in real time. Yeah, just didn't really play the ball, pushed him over. I think the Detroit City FC coaching staff was more upset with what happened after the fact, some extracurricular activity where Sam Harshi was the one who was pushed over. Free kick now for the common. Played into the box, low. Some miscommunication back line. Need to get this one away and just kind of blast it up into the air. It'll go out for a Detroit City FC goal kick. Letrium Chef Cooey scored Lansing Common's second goal. Not same fortune here, we'll see it just Blasted up into the air. And Sean Ellis gonna take his time. Gonna gotta pick the right spot to set this one down at. Got a lot of real estate to choose from. Seems to be happy with that one. More to the left side of this penalty area. Played up and forward, Keith Larson unable to get the header on that one, but Josh Waits clears it away. Kovase pressing now. Provase trying to close down Zach Kelly, who does well to get out to Josh Adams and then pushes out of play. It'll be Lansing Common throwing, but deep in their own half. 84 minutes gone. Forward now. Being crossed out wide to that number five 
substitute for Lansing Common. Corvasse pressing. Adams over the top. Shady Omar takes a touch. A little bit deeper than most of his touches so far today. Good job there by Strayberger to find Mutana. We'll see Mutana now running forward. Hometown kid being urged on by his hometown fans. Corvasse unable to keep that one in. Goes out for a Lansing Common throw in. Coach Javi would have maybe liked a little bit more composure there from his forward line. Maybe slow things down a little bit, take some time off the clock. But instead, Lansing Common have a throw in. Again, really good job by Strayberger there. Really good job here by Lachlan Hepburn. Keith Larson edge of the area. Takes a second, drives inside. Keith Larson creating space for himself. Out wide, Keith Larson's gonna slow things down to the applause of the coaching staff on this near side for Detroit City FC. Sam Harshi now out wide. Harshi finds Brady Walker. Giveaway there from Brady Walker. Not what Detroit City FC need. Lansing Common now running forward with speed. Good, strong challenge there by Ryan Dobson. Still though, not the best situation there for Detroit City FC to find themselves in the Lansing Common equalizer in that first half came from a corner. And now Lansing Common committing nine bodies forward on this one, only one outfield player back. And even he's relatively far forward considering a midfield defense on a corner. Even Zach Kelly's far off of his line here for Lansing Common. Ball into the box. Headed on just wide. Sean Ellis not happy with himself there to lose track of that one. But no harm, no foul so far. Kind of flashed it across the face of goal. Shady Omar rose up to it, got a foot onto it, and just went wide of that far post. Ellis blasts this one up. Mutana looking to win the header in the midfield. Bouncing a few times. Lansing Common here. Need an answer. They got three minutes plus stoppage time to do so. To look for one, excuse me. Gravasse looking to press that back line. Good win there by Ryan Dobson in the midfield. Referee gives the foul. No one in the stadium really can believe it. That looked clean from up here. Lansing Common, of course, going to have no complaints about that one. He's going to look to blast this one forward is Josh Adam. He's going to lay it off to Aiden O'Connor. Tries to get it back to Adam. Referee's going to say it's a foul against the Common. Dante Morris, that can't believe it. I don't know where the complaints are. He kind of forced Schreiberger to the ground, almost climbed up on his back there and pushed it down. Strayberger gets right back up immediately, which I think the coaching staff's a little bit bewildered by. I see a wry grin on the face of some of the Detroit City FC coaching staff. We're going to see another substitute get ready here for LaRouge. Josh Mason going to make his way into the match. At some point, I'm sure. Going to pick the farthest player on the far side of the field and have him just take his time walking across. Cravasse does well to get that one down in the path of Mutana. Strayberger. Back to Lee, to Hepburn, back to Lee now. Lee into Crovasse, does well to poke it over. Again, given away there by LaRouge. Lansing Common in the midfield now. Forward now, good win by Brady Walker into the path of Keith Larson, Keith Larson has Walker up with him. Walker gets the ball back. They're gonna say he was offside. I don't quite know how. I don't know how that was offside. Uh, I might just be, you know, where I'm situated in this field right at the 50, we'll see it here. When the ball was played, Brady Walker, we see number 16 there. It looks like they were about even. He did well to corral his run a little bit to number 16, Josh Adam, not to play on. Brady Walker, so close enough call to where you can see what the referee has in mind there. 89 minutes gone now, yellow card shown to Strayberger. 
Yellow card given to number 25, Detroit City FC. Zach Kelly looking to get something going for his team. Josh Lee heads it. Five minutes of stoppage time, says the fourth official. You got to consider there were, I believe, three goals so far in this second half. It's about to be a grandstand finish here at Keyword Stadium. Lansing Common need to find something here. Ignite a spark in their team. Crovase dribbles out wide, finds Mutana. Mutana, not the best communication there between Josh Mason and Strayberger. I believe Mason was trying to lay it off for Strayberger because Mason knew he was off sides. Saw the referee signal for five minutes. Nearly into the back of the own net there. It would have been a cruel, cruel way for this one to end. Five minutes now. See it watching at home on YouTube. Shout out to our production staff. Lansing looking to get something going forward. Lee does well to head away. Mutana. Provase just blasts it forward with the right foot. Josh Mason playing up top, but more of a defensive role than anything, just trying to maybe keep the ball for his side. Lansing again, just looking for these long diagonals over the top. Looking to get something, maybe a lucky bounce, a miscommunication in the city back line, anything to get another goal for them. Headed on, Dante Morissette, just wide. That ball boy sure was quick about that one. Sean Ellis, going to look for the right spot to set this one down. Sean Ellis urging his team upfield. Tristity FC coaching staff under me here, just checking the referee, make sure how much time there is. Make sure their watches are in sync. James Lee calls for this one before heading it back into the Lansing Common midfield. Miscontrol there from the Common. Good win there by Lachlan Hepper, and we see Mutana going to look to get break his team out of something here. Referee lets that happen in the midfield. Shadi Omar goes off of his, his arm. Referee keeping the whistle in his pocket for now. Goes out for a Lansing Common throw in. Detroit City FC have a player down. Of course, we're going to see the trainer come out for this. We see Mutana going to get treatment here. Lansing Common players, you know, Good sportsmanship, but also he has a rooting interest in seeing this game continue as fast as possible. We see Mutana back to his feet, trying to run off whatever pain he feels in his leg. Throw in now from the common. Adams plays the ball into the box. Ellis jumps up to claim it and then falls on it just to make sure. Laying down on the ground with it now. Sean Ellis trying to keep his side ahead in this one. Takes some time off the clock as well. Lays it on the ground, blasts it forward. Crovasse looking to win the header. Bodied off the ball, referee's gonna give the foul against the common. Detroit City FC and the fans here in attendance at Keyword Stadium starting to feel it. One hand on that cup perhaps for Detroit City FC. Good job there from Crovasse. Detroit City FC going to just make sure a few times the referee likes where that one was. Foul there. Referee called it on the field. And now Detroit City FC have a free kick. Harshi goes back to Dobson. Detroit City FC have to be weary here with the press. Excellent job there by Sam Harshi to keep possession on this end of the field. Crovasse. Back to Walker. Crovasse again. Inside to Harshi. Harshi pushed off. Referee allows that to happen. And now Lansing Common here looking to break. Mason trying to win that one back. Strayberger looking to press Morissette. Now it's Mutana. Ball played over the top past him. Waits heads it away. 
Mason into the path of Dobson. Dobson's just going to have a rip himself. Not too sure about that one. Some bewilderment amongst the people in attendance here where these gamesmanship tactics are. Maybe a little bit smarter play could be executed here. Lee heads it up, wins that header. Boot comes off of Josh Waite, so there would have been contact on his, I don't think he realizes his boot's off yet. He's standing right next to his boot, unaware that it's not on his foot. Hey. Josh Wade's currently playing with one boot, unaware that his left foot one is off. I have to be certain he hasn't even looked down at it. Crovasse, handball against the common. That whistle's gonna be crucial for Detroit City FC. Referee glances at his watch. Could be one hand on the cup perhaps for LaRouge. James Lee gonna make sure. Blast it forward. Crovasse is in some space. Gonna take a few touches. Referee's gonna say offside. Not sure if I agree with that one. Should have just settled that one down. Referee making sure they know exactly where it was. Yeah, that's a foul for sure. And then the boot comes off, doesn't realize it. Zach Kelly blasts it forward. Referee has his hand in the air. Whistle now, Detroit City FC in their inaugural season in the Midwest Premier League win the Eastern Division at home in front of a large crowd at Keyworth Stadium. Lansing Common players dejected. Detroit City FC fans elated. It's success once again for Detroit City FC. Defeating the Lansing Common three to two on what was a hot, humid day here in Hamtramck, Michigan. As a just a fan of the game, what a incredible match this was. The brace from Zion Beaton just announced he's the man of the match in this one. And those three points will be enough for Detroit City FC to win the Eastern Division of the Midwest Premier League. Beautiful goals, a plenty in this one. I've been Jared Mackey. It's been an absolute honor being on the call for these reserve sides for both teams. Thank you to the production staff. Thank you to the camera crews. Detroit City FC win the Eastern Division of the Midwest Premier League. I've been Jarrett Mackey. Have a good one.